Using RGB numbers to tint your feet will never yield the best results for multiple reasons. The primary reason is that you're adding that color to a foot that already has a base tone. So you'll actually end up with a color that differs from the RGB color that you enter. Here's an example of what I mean. I've used the color under cursor feature of SL to find out the RGB of the skin I'm wearing and got the numbers 189, 113, and 82. Let's apply that color to a variety of prints and see what happens. I've got three boxes here, one plain white, one plywood, and one with a generic avatar foot skin texture. Here's what we get when we apply that RGB to the prints. 189, 113, 82. You can see that I get three completely different results. It's just not an accurate way to get a good match. You may ask, why not just apply RGB colors to a white base? Starting with a white base and adding so much tint, you will lose all of the amazing, beautiful detail that you love about your Goss Boutique feet. Check this out. Here's the manual match I did earlier with the number seven base tone and slight adjustments to the hue, saturation, and luminosity. It's got all the highlight and shadow detail that you expect. Now here's a match that started with a white base and was adjusted to match my skin. It's so flat, it loses all of those beautiful highlights and shadows, and it looks like something you'd find on a 2007 library skin. We deserve better than that. Let's look at the earlier, better match. This is the foot you deserve. 